Good morning. This morning I am wrapping gifts for my bosses and my husband is so kindly helping me. And so we're trying to figure out which Christmas card of these Christmas cards that we have. You'll get to see those in just a second. To give to my bosses. And this is my husband's um, idea. So here we go. Here he is. This is Drew. You have Baby Jesus card <laughs> that matches Baby Jesus in the manger envelope. Very important. You have the three wise men with the Christmas star. Matching Christmas star envelope with desert scene. And just so you know, my bosses, this is not really probably their thing. I just wanted this plain, generic Christmas card. Where'd that one go, Drew? I don't know. This cr plain, generic Christmas card. Oh, here it is. That said, Merry Christmas. You know, just plain and generic where I could just write something inside. I have these but <laughs> celestial Christmas cards here that were, these were all given to us. <laughs> and we are going to use them wisely. Make sure they are sent to the appropriate house. Look at this. A kitten and a dog looking at a present, okay, with matching envelopes. You can't find that kind of quality in stores alone. So you might want to text us and let us know, subscribe, and comment about which Christmas card you would prefer. So this is for one of my bosses that he chose. It is a picture of a dog and a cat. And on the card it says, not a creature was stirring. Mind you, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas. <laughs> May you enjoy peace, tranquility, and the comfort of good friends this season. That's a nice message, but, you know, you have to pick the card for the person. This probably isn't the right card for this person. These cards are so <laughs> sent to us for free in the mail. You have to utilize what you are given. So, that is our morning blog this morning on choosing a Christmas card wisely. So... Beware what comes in your mailbox from Drew Hartling. Have a great day. Bye.